Hey guys, I'm Mikey and welcome back to another episode of the Mikey Esports Show. The NFL is the most popular sports league in the country. It's basically unavoidable. But it's also unique in the fact that the NFL is the only major sports league in the country that doesn't have a minor league system. I know, it's hard to believe, but that hasn't stopped some leagues from trying to be like a minor league system to the NFL. Let's take a look at some of the football leagues throughout history that have tried to do just that. Starting with the oldest and probably most famous one, the USFL. Back in the 80s, the USFL was founded to play in the spring as a counterpart to the NFL. And they had some really good players, including Hall of Famers like Jim Kelly, Herschel Walker, and Dan Marino was even drafted into the league. Now, why did the USFL fail? Well, because one owner of a USFL team that you probably recognize, Donald Trump, yes, that Donald Trump, convinced the league to move its schedule from the spring to the fall to compete directly with the NFL and maybe force a merger. It obviously didn't work. I recommend the 30 for 30. It's a great insight about the history of the league. Let's move on to our next league about 20 years down the line, the XFL. Now, while the USFL stood for the United States Football League, the XFL stood for nothing. I'm not making that up. The XFL's players weren't quite as good as the USFL's, with their headliner being Tommy Maddox, who's most famous for being Ben Roethlisberger's backup quarterback during a Super Bowl run. Now, what happened to the XFL, why they failed? It's actually a lot sadder than you might think. It started out great. But at the end of its first season, it was canceled by NBC Sports because it just kept losing the company that much money. Yes, a professional sports league was canceled by a TV company. It's the only time that's ever happened and probably the only time it ever will happen. But the XFL is coming back in 2020, so we'll see how it works this time around. And the final league we're going to be talking about today is a real recent one. You probably watched it when it first came out. I know I did the AAF, the Alliance of American Football. Now, how are the players? Well, not great, but not bad. They were somewhere in the middle. There were a lot of big names of former college football stars who played in the AAF, including Johnny Manziel, who won a Heisman at Texas A&M, and Trent Richardson, who won a national championship at Alabama. So why did it fail? Well, it just ran out of money. It took a $250 million investment to stay afloat after week one when it was at its peak. And it just couldn't keep going. It ended up folding before the season even ended. So there's no AAF champion, except for maybe the Orlando Palos. But I went out and asked some fans if they think the NFL could ever realistically have a minor league system. Let's see what they have to say. I don't see why not. You know, all the other sports organizations are doing it. I think if the NFL had a minor league, it'd be a great idea because that would like allow future athletes to get a taste of what the NFL could potentially be like. They could like, you know, focus on plays, like know the play style of the NFL, like different defensive formations, recognize like what it really takes to elevate their game into the NFL. I, I do not think that it would work very well considering the complexities of the game. I'm not sure. But we are nine. Thanks, everyone. Now, what do I think about this? Well, I can see both sides of it. On one hand, it would be nice for those guys who are too good for college but not quite good enough for the NFL to get some of that experience at a professional level, like in other sports. But on the other hand, I just don't think it's feasible due to the complexity of the game of football, how violent it is, and various other factors. And besides, the NFL will probably need to support the league for it to stay afloat. Just look at the example we looked at today. Now, let's head on over to the wall for today's stat of the day. So I was talking about some of the great players that play in the USFL, and there's one I didn't mention for a good reason, Steve Young. Now, Young went on to win a Super Bowl with the 49ers, but before he played in the NFL, he played for the XFL's Los Angeles Express and they signed him to a 43-year contract. It's the longest contract of any kind in professional sports history. And if the league was still around today, they'd still be paying him $930,000 a year. That's it for today. Remember to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Check out other episodes of this show and all the other shows that we make here. We're on channel 12, and remember, we're online. Thanks for watching.